Hello, hello. Welcome home, my friends. This is Coming Home with Mama T. I am Tiara, aka Mama T, the host of this podcast, as well as the creator of A Bubbly Life. I am super excited to take this dive for you because this podcast is really about coming home to ourselves, coming in alignment with the best version of ourselves, the version of ourselves we desire to be, so that we can create the life of our desire so we can master manifestation, maintain a positive mindset, and live luxuriously. Yes? All right, so today I want to take a dive into loving it and leaving it alone. That is like a concept in manifestation for me that I feel like it makes things happen so instantaneously or what feels like instantaneously because I'm not thinking about it. Um, and then it's like something that I'm also working on. So let me give you an example. So I've worked in the wine industry for, I think about eight years now, over eight years now. And one of the things that has always like, well, not always, but like one of the things that I learned and I can kind of cork dork out about is my stemware. Like I, love good stemware. Um, I prefer stems, but this is for this example, we're talking about a manifestation. So we'll get to the glass in a second. But um, I love crystal stemware, which I mean, it makes sense. I am, (laughs) you know, a witchy girly. And so I love my crystals. And of course, crystal stem, why why not? Right. Um, And so In the wine industry, and if you're someone that loves wine as much as I love wine, or if you just like enjoy wine drinking, you don't have to cork dork about it, uh, I highly recommend going to my link in bio and shopping some wine with me, okay? Uh, I do have a wine side of my business, so definitely if wine's your jam, we can totally cork dork out together. I can totally support you in picking out different wines, all that good stuff. But with that, I digress. So one of the things that I found super interesting when I first started getting into wine and doing tastings and all of that was the fact that your like your vessel matters which also talks makes me think about like our bodies in terms of like creating life of our desires but that's a whole nother conversation but what you put your wine in matters in terms of what flavors are going to be presented in that wine, what's going to showcase, right? And so I've found the way to really get all the tertiary flavors, all the like robustness, the lusciousness, all the goodness is putting it in a crystal glass. So with that, (laughs) I have definitely purchased crystal stemware, but it's like my nice stemware that I don't necessarily let everybody use in our home. Um, But I like, it's not like something that's like I use it. Don't get me wrong. It's not like fine china, like grandma's fine china that you don't use. I actually use the china that's in our home too. But because I believe that like how to romance our lives and how to elevate our lives is actually using the things that are in our space that make us feel luxurious, make us feel wonderful and all of that. So lately I've been going wine tasting more, trying wine, opening bottles of wine um, in our home and like just treating every day like it is the most luscious luxurious thing and i love it and in doing that it kind of like had this thought like oh man i wish like all of our stemware was crystal i wish all of our stemware was elevated and i'm pretty sure i had like like i didn't even think about the thought like it like it was like just a random passing thought not anything that i put any energy towards or anything um and like, I don't even know exactly how I think. Like, like I'm quoting, I, I am like mis- probably misquoting myself, but I feel like I'm like, oh, we need more crystal or whatever I thought I said to myself. And last night, I'm like drinking my wine. A lovely, I think it's a Cab Franc. Cab Franc. And I'm looking and hold on, I gotta like, I'm looking and right here, you see there's like letters right there, right? Like, that's it says Riedel and if you're at all familiar with like the wine world and like stemware Riedel was like for me I like I remember being like a little bit a little baby wino if you will professional wine wino um 
going around and doing my tastings and people will be like, oh, I have like regal stems. Like some of my like hosts would be like, I have regal stems. I don't need your like your glass, your bed, bath and beyond glass stems. Like I've got the good stuff. Um, and like people kept talking and bringing it up like regal stem wear, regal stem wear, regal stem wear. Um, I even used to do a thing like I had our the winery that I rep for it. While it's not regal stem wear, it is very nice, high quality um crystal and I feel comfortable putting it in the dishwasher you might maybe not put it in the dishwasher I don't know I find that you can put it in the dishwasher as long as you wait for it to cool down uh you can take it out and it's not gonna break it's totally fine um so <laughs> with that I was you know I remember just being like like people saying read all read all read all read all read all and um in my mind it's like the Louis Vuitton of um or i don't know chanel or any of those like fancy brands the the like the ferrari if we're car people of the glassware industry and so i was like we have real stem like we have real glassware and it's so funny because i was like i didn't know these were real and, and my roommate was like yeah you know he went to a, um, it wasn't like a garage. It was like a friend of a friend was moving and they were getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And I was out of town and he sent me all these pictures of like all these stems and stuff. And it was like stems and, and stemless and whatever. And I was like, the stemless are going to be great for having people over. Um, cause stems tend to like freak people out or they'll drop them or whatever. So I was like, yeah, definitely get the stemless. And you know, a couple of like, there were like some coops and some really fun things. And I was like, yeah, get, get that stuff. Right. And so he brought home sets of, of the, the glassware and I haven't like, I've drank out of it, but I hadn't paid attention to what he had. And so you can like, you know, do the little, how you test your crystal or if your glass is crystal, that was kind of gross. Sorry. Um, is like wet your finger and then hold on. I'm holding it on this. Let's, let's see, try to get it to do the miscongeniality. Now I'm thinking about it too, too much. I can feel it shaking in my hand. There we go. So you get it to make its like beautiful singing bowl sound, which I think is funny because I've always wanted singing bowls. And then I realized I was like, I don't need singing bowls. I have singing glasses. <laughs> I love it. But all that to say is that we have sets of Riedel glassware that are I mean they're they're not super like it's not like something I could not afford to buy myself but also it's not super cheap either right it's real crystal and so the manifestation in and of itself is like I remember being a newbie and just hearing about Riedel and I'm like oh I want like Riedel stemware and like I never really thought about it and then next thing you know like it's like no energy is put behind it no focus is put behind it so you can argue um whether or not because there was a lack of focus um it took eight years to, <laughs> to bring into light or you can argue that i literally at, like thought to myself we should have more crystal in my life like a week or two ago in terms of stems and now i have more crystal in my in, <laughs> in my life right um and it was already in my life right like it just i just didn't know it the manifestation is the the realization that <laughs> one I've got like name brand and two <laughs> I have more crystal in my life <laughs> right and so going back to the concept of loving it and leaving it alone I know for me when it comes to manifesting the biggest part for me that I am mastering is is the timeline is how do I create things more instantaneously how do I experience things as soon as I make it a thought and it's fun for me in the sense that like okay like well I thought about this like a week ago or I thought about this like however ago and now it showed up and I think part of something that we can understand is perspective right so I've had these these stems or stemless glasses in my house for like I don't know a month or two now and um i just didn't know what they were like they were they were just like freebie glasses that a friend of a friend gave, gave to us and and so they didn't have the value to me um in that time it was just like oh awesome something else to add to the collection love it until i was ready to receive the 
level of what I wanted, right? Like the, the, the glory, <laughs> the magic of what I wanted when I was like, actually, I want more crystal. Here we go. More crystal. Boom. Right. And so in that I've noticed throughout the course of my life, the things that I've wanted that I've considered to be like big things, like moving to LA is like probably my favorite, um, manifestation story. Right. So like I, at the time I was dating this guy, he was going to LA all the time. And I was like, Oh, I want to like go to LA more. I want to go to LA. I want to have this like cool life. I want to do all these things. Like I want that. And then, you know, it took about four years, but four years later, you know, I was enjoying my life, right? Like, like there'd be times like, Oh, I want this. Or like, you know, I want to go to LA more. Or, I want to do this. And the next thing you know, there's like an opportunity to go to LA for a wedding or for whatever. And, and then, you know, I didn't put any energy behind it, but the magic behind it was like, most of the time the travel was free because my friend, <laughs> you know, my boyfriend at the time was, um, traveling for work. And so we would just like throw that ticket in there or whatever. And then like points. The next thing you know, like, you know, he would get bumped to first class because he had status and I would be sitting in the back and I remember being like, Ugh, that's not fair. I deserve to be in first class. I want to, I want to fly first class without like no energy behind it, just like random thoughts. And the next thing you know, um, the airline that he was flying got bought out by another airline and that other airline recognized when people traveled with each other and that per that airline would always if he got bumped I got bumped up okay so it was just like no energy at all no thought no like whatever put behind it and so what I am focusing on right now is like all right cool like I I can see that I all I have to ask all I have to do is ask all I have to do is like believe right like the the law of attraction as they say ask believe receive right and my thing is like all right if i know that this is like it's gonna happen i don't know when it's gonna happen whatever all in perfect timing i know that the things that show up for me when i just ask and kind of leave it alone show up with what feels like zero effort for me like these glasses zero when i say zero effort for me the only effort was tipping the glass with the wine in it and reading the bottom like zero effort right so there's zero effort in that i i didn't have to buy it <laughs> i didn't even have to pick it up somebody else brought them into our home and here and now they're here right so the things that i put very little energy and thought or anything behind are the things that show up in whatever kind of timing and what we could say perfect timing and i really feel like I did nothing for it. So where is that? Okay, well, this is what I want. I want it now. <laughs> and how do I, if I really want it now, how do I put forth that no effort into it and still get it to show up in a quick manner? Right? So like I said, like I wanted Riedel stems like eight years ago like oh when I thought it was like a super cool thing to have or whatever because other people were talking about it like oh I want I want those stemware too like that seems really cool and next thing you know I stopped thinking about it didn't care about it here we are you know four years uh it took four years to get a f pretty much free move to LA but I also like it would be like something I would randomly be like, oh, like, you know, if the opportunity came and like they uh, they asked if, like him to move, I'd be down to moving. And I never thought like how expensive it would be or anything like that. I'd be like, I'd be down to move like it like in my mind. I think I was just like people like jobs move their families across and we've been together long enough that I am a family. So like it didn't even occur to me that I would have to pay any money to do anything like it just like, you know, and because of that, <laughs> I put no thought, no effort, no whatever. And here I am. Right. And so where we're at is the loving it and leaving it alone and time. Yes. So we, I know I have mastered the loving it. I have mastered the leaving it alone. Now the mastery is the time, but if we're focused on the time, are we leaving it alone? Yeah. <laughs> and that's, and there's the crux, right? And there's the crux that I think a lot of us really struggle with. We're like, okay, well, I want my business to thrive right this second. I want to quit my job and I want to just do this full time. How do I go viral? How do I do this? How do I do that? Like, how do I, 
whatever it is, or I'm looking for the love of my life. I'm ready to like get married and start a family and do whatever and like travel the world together. Um, how do I do that? Like, how do we make it happen? Make it happen. And then we're forcing it, right? We're, we're putting in so much time, thought and energy. And a lot of times the issue there's nothing wrong with putting in focus. I think focus will help bring things forward, but only if it's the right kind of focus, right? If we're focusing on, I really want like the love of my life. And then we're like looking at, you know, sifting through and we're really focusing on like, but men don't show up or women don't, or they, them don't, whatever. Like, and we, we start getting into the space of like this, this does not exist or this doesn't, whatever, this doesn't, we are getting in our own way. Right? We start when we start spiraling in a a lower vibration. We're removing ourselves from what the the gratitude and the the experience that we're looking for. Now, if we can love the thing and truly just love this idea and not really put much else behind it, like much conscious thought, much um, minutia around it, that's when we can kind of add that focus and bring it in quicker so thinking about LA for example right so like I I remember being a kid you could say like well it took 20 years to manifest it because I remember being a kid and thinking like I want to go to like Los Angeles because I want to be an actor and I want to like you know Hollywood is where to go to become an actor or whatever so you could say it took forever (laughs) my entire life at that time to manifest it Or you could, from the perspective of like, well, it took like four years, not even that, right? Like, so I remember, honestly, I remember, you know, being jealous of of my boyfriend at the time, traveling all the time and going, and he seemed to be having such a fun time. And I felt like left out. And I was just like, oh, I want to go, right? Like, I want to go. And then like, I would go and... I'm like, mm, this place is dusty. This place is like deserty. He's not staying in the most luxury, you know, in the beginning, right? Like he wasn't staying in the nicest hotels until he built up his status. He had to build up status to get those like status experiences, right? So like in the beginning, I was like, okay, well, I'm over it. Like, you know, I went a couple of times. We flew like, you know, coach. We, you know, stayed in like an okay hotel that wasn't downtown and all this stuff. And so I was just like, eh. LA is whatever. Like I'm down, like I'm, I'd be okay to move, but it's not a biggest deal. Like I don't particularly love it. And then as his status grew and we had more luxury experiences when we got to go, I was like, Oh, Oh, okay. (laughs) This is nice. I'm here for it. I could, I could live here. This, this, this matches my vibe. I'm down with the get down. And with that, then I had a more positive and more grateful and more like, exciting experience with it and then I could feel into that excitement and be like yeah this is like a place for me like this is like so oh I need more of this in my life yeah honey and like taking videos and doing all the fun stuff and creating there and with that as people like I wasn't asking to move but like people would ask me like if it was, if the opportunity showed up, would you do it? If the opportunity showed up, would you do it? And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And like definitive, like I didn't think about it's impossible for it to happen. I didn't think about it as like, it would be expensive for it to happen. I didn't think anything else about it, but yes, right? And so when we have the space to just say yes to what it is that we desire and there is like no efforting around it, no again, minutia around it, that's when it can just like show up quickly, right? I've been thinking about, oh, I want more community. I want more in-person community um, that is into similar things that I am into. And so I, I remember that's part of why I really loved San Diego, right? Like I remember when I first started like my spiritual journey and like getting into crystals and getting into tarot, getting into Reiki, getting into all of these things, um, thinking to myself like oh I really want more people like this in my life and then these people were showing weren't showing up in like 
my home because in my mind I'm like, oh, there's like nobody around me like that, right? Like I, I knew that that was something that I would think like, I'm like, oh, I, mean, I want to find more people like this, like around me. And before I knew it, like we were on a trip to San Diego and like it felt like everyone around me was like similar or like, there were like people that like random people doing like a random carpool and they're like, oh my God, your energy is amazing. And I'm like, oh, this is why I love it because people see me here. People see me here. And the last couple of trips I've been going on, people are like, there's totally people like you in LA. Like it's LA, <laughs> like <laughs> it's the birthplace of people that are like wild and eccentric and whatever. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Like there are plenty of people here. And as soon as I started recognizing there are people all around me, next thing you know, there's like a person who lives in my building that, um, that works at my company that we didn't know. <laughs> like, right. Like I'm like, I want more people that are like close you can't get more closer than that right like unless they're like literally living in my my apartment <laughs> right so um when we really just like allow it right so that's where the leave it alone comes from it's just allowing it it's surrender there are so many words that are people use to like bring it all together but it's just like knowing this is what i want i am saying yes to it that is my love like i love plants i say yes to plants next thing you know plants are everywhere <laughs> i love it and i'm leaving it alone i love my business i love showing up i love talking i love meeting new people and i am leaving it alone in the sense that i am not worried about when the fame and fortune are coming i would like it to show up in the next six months but you know like it's all divine. It's all perfect. There are all, there's so many lessons. There are so many fun things to get to enjoy on this journey that if I let the timeline go, it'll show up. That's how, that's how, I, that's what I notice about myself, right? If I let the timeline go that if I really just say yes, that's when it feels like, oh my gosh, that showed up for me like so quickly, so quickly. So my encouragement for you is to really lean into how can you love it and leave it alone mine is letting go of time <laughs> really letting go of the timeline I think is my my like number one leaving it alone but what is your number one leave it alone put it in the comments let me know I'm excited to hear more about that and with that I also encourage you to join us in the home membership or booking a one-on-one -on -one session with me so we can dive together into your ways that you can leave it alone, if you will, right? So we can take a deep dive into helping you specifically create the life of your desires. So the home membership is a community space online that I'm super excited about where we're going to have um, meetings, weekly meetings to like really just dive into the good stuff from movement to manifesting meditations to let, like hot seat coaching, all of that good stuff. Or like I said, you can have a one-on-one -on -one session with me and it's just us, baby. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's live an extraordinary life. Mwah. Thank you.